Hi ho friends, welcome back to another video where we look through a bag of my thrift store finds. I get most of my finds at the Goodwill bins and that's one of the things that makes this first find so spectacular. I have never seen one of these at the bins before. I have never even seen one of these at a thrift store before. I've seen them at estate sales and that sort of thing, um, but never just at a thrift. Um, the first thing that I'm going to show you today is this vintage Santa plush. Look at this, you guys. It's amazing. At first I thought it was a rubber face, but it's not. The face is like hard plastic, but thin hard plastic. And it does have a little crack right here. I don't know if you can see that through his hair, but there's like a tiny little crack right here. And, you know, you can tell that his, his face is like a thin plastic. Um, so I'm not sure if he's a Rushton or what. Um, he does not have a tag anymore. The tag has been removed. Um, he still has his little plastic belt, which is pretty great. And other than the little crack, he's in pretty amazing condition for such an old dude and being at the bins. Um, a new bin had been brought out and I kind of hang back a little bit. I don't like, you know, the elbowing and the jostling and I kind of like other people just like go in. There's enough for everybody, really. There really is. So they, I just let like the first wave go in and then I kind of swoop in when no one else is there right after the first wave goes in and no one picked him up which shows me that at the bins I go to, I'm really the only one looking for this kind of junk. <laughs> but I'm really excited to get him listed. Um, I've never found a Santa like this before thrifting and it's just super fun. Keeping with the Christmas theme, I also found multiple Grinch plush. Um, I have sold so many Grinch plush, I can't even count probably. They go very quickly. Um, and it sort of doesn't seem to matter like what year they're from. If they're new or older, you know, they've been produced for quite a number of years. So, um, this, I even sold one that was a dog toy once and it just, it went like that so quick. It was pretty great. But um, I thought maybe this guy was a dog toy, but he doesn't have a squeaker or a crinkle at all. So I guess he's just a regular plush. He doesn't have um, his tag anymore, but he's in pretty good condition. So that's one. And then this one, he is pretty great. He has um, an embroidered heart and plastic eyes. He's fairly large. And he was made by Cole's Cares, um, and they produce some very cute uh, plush. Um, a lot of times it'll be like characters from stuff that you know, crossovers that they're doing. And he's just so soft, like his fur is really, really soft. So that's two. And then, oh, right. I found a Max. Look at how cute he is. Oh my gosh. He has his reindeer horn. And he's just like so, so cute. This is made by Aurora, 2018. And he's just, just the sweetest little guy. I love him. So that was a super fun find to find all of those Grinch toys. Now here's something that we've talked about before and I was extremely happy to find loops for the potholder loom. Now these, I don't know if you can tell, but these are like the terry cloth variety. They're a little bit older generally, uh, probably at least the 80s, maybe the 70s. And I have a loom for it as well. So I found both of those two different bins, two different times, but I'm going to be listing those and they just don't stay. They don't stay in the shop for very long. They just go really quickly. People love them. So I do have a couple more vintage plush in here. 
this. We all know and love Big Bird. Um, he has plastic eyes. I can't tell if he's faded or not. Um, he just seems like slightly more pastel. Uh, no, I guess it looks like maybe he's not faded. But he's just like a little bit more pastel than like the very, very bright colors you usually find. He is from Hasbro, excuse me, 1986. Cutie. And I don't pick up all Sesame Street plush. Um, I try to just stay with the really old stuff. The newer stuff will sell eventually, but it sticks around for a long time. Um, so I just, I just try to go old with Sesame Street. That seems to work a little bit better. Now this. This is really something, guys. I have a slight memory of these. <laughs> it's a little long. Um, it's a puppet. Uh, this is, you know, you want to say monkey, but I think that's incorrect if it doesn't have a tail. I think it's an ape if it doesn't have a tail. And um, this dude does not have a tail, but um, he has really, really long appendages. And the appendages have hook and loop on them. So you can stick them to each other the hat, whatever, and then the body is actually a puppet, and let's see if I can get my hand in the right spot. There's a squeaker inside. So, you know, got that going for him. Um, he has a little bit of a tear here, uh, just on the edge, but otherwise, um, oh, you know what? Oh. Recovered memory, recovered memory. I just remembered that I think you put this around you, right? Yeah, so you wrap his legs and arms around you so that it looks like you're holding him and, you know, having a puppet. <laughs> yeah, I must have seen one of those. When I was younger, although I didn't have one, and I don't think anybody I knew had one. I think this might have been a school situation. We had a lot of puppet shows at school. I wonder if that influenced me in any way. Hard to say. Okay, so sometimes when I'm waiting at the bins for them to flip new bins, bring new stuff out. I go over to the clothing section and I look for stuff for myself a little bit, uh, not to sell, but for myself to wear. Um, and I look for stuff to stock Magic Summer Vintage store. Um, Anna and I have been friends for a very long time. I think it's fun to find vintage clothing. I do not find it fun to list clothing at all. So I have stopped doing that. Yes, there are some clothes in my shop. Those are from my naive days when I thought that was something I was going to do. But I found this slip for her, vintage slip. It is made by Miss Elaine. Great name. That's what the vintage thing, and just look at the color of this. It's like the most gorgeous salmon color. I don't know if that's going to translate well, but it is beautiful. And then look at the hem. It's like a little mermaid situation. It's so pretty. I mean, you know, if this were late 90s, early 2000s, you could just wear this as a dress. You know, ask Rachel Green. But I was very excited to find that for her. And that will be joining her the next time she visits. Oh my gosh. You're just, you, you just get covered in crap. Because everything at the bins is covered in pet hair, dust, and glitter. And you're just like coated. So here's something interesting that I like to find that is not a toy. Although I love toys. My first love in selling for sure. And collecting, obviously. Um, but... I have branched out. I'm trying to do 
everything that I can do and still find joy in, which does not include clothes. Um, but one of the things that I like to find in decor, and it does not have to be vintage, is tassels. Look at the size of this baby. It's a honker. It's got tassels on tassels. Heard you like tassels. Here's some tassels for your tassels. Um, and it has an actual wooden top. And I didn't find just one. I found three, four, four enormous tassels. Look at these. They are just so gorgeous. I'm not sure if I'm going to lot them together or sell them individually. Haven't decided yet, but um, tassels do very well. We love a tassel. Ooh, they're so heavy. Um, but then there's more. I found this kind also, and I don't know if you can see, but it is beaded on the top and it has and when I go to take photos of tassels, I brush the tassel with the comb or, or a brush because, you know, they get snarly. Ooh, this even has like beads, strings of beads in it. So you get like a little glimmer in the light. Can you see that? So pretty, right? Not only did I find one of these, but... I found four of these as well. They're just so gorgeous. They're so big and beautiful. I think the top might be glass. It's hard to say. It's either glass or plastic. Sometimes it's hard to tell the difference. But they're relatively heavy, actually. So they're like really nice quality. And, you know, people use them for all kinds of things. And I just love finding, like, a gorgeous decor piece, you know, for, like, and a tassel can actually fit a lot of different decor, which is, I think, why maybe they sell pretty well, you know. It can be, you know, Baroque, Victorian, Romantic. It could, like, something like this could even be Craftsman. You know, like, you can do a lot of different styles with a really nice tassel. So, I was just like, this also was left over after the first swarm of people. And I was like, man, these people, they're leaving all kinds of goodies behind for me. So, tassels. Okay, I think that about wraps it up for today. Thank you for hanging out with me. If you would be so kind to do me a favor, you know the drill. You want to give me a thumbs up like on this video. You want to subscribe to my channel so we can hang out more. And you want to leave me a comment. Let me know what your favorite find is. Let me know if you have any ideas that you would like to see in a video. If you have questions about the things that I pick up, I'm more than happy to answer any questions for you guys. I'm going to leave some links below, which at first will be things that I have in my shop right now that are sort of like the stuff that I found in case you really are jonesing for something. Um, but then once I list these things, and it'll be, you know, one or two weeks before they are listed in my shops, um, I will change the links so that they will be the actual things that you've seen in the video. If you have anything that you cannot wait for that you've seen in the video and you love and you need, just let me know. Leave me a comment and uh, we'll do a deal. That's what I'm here for. It was so great to hang out with you guys again. Until we see each other later on, I invite you to go out and find treasure. See you next time.